Enjoying the economic recovery? What recovery? I'm tired of waiting to get mine. I'm ready to make it happen. You go, girl. I'm not a girl. My bad. I'm gonna get me some coin, greenbacks. How? I've learned a lot from the crisis. I'm creating a new business modeled after one of America's legendary corporations. I'm listening. It is to do with Charlie Sheen. He's going to be your partner? He was making two million dollars an episode before he went off. He's liquid. He's a winner, too. Not to mention crazy. It's not really with him. It's about him. I'm going to sell a swap on him. A swap? It's a cool Wall Street term for exchanging one thing for another. I will allow gamblers, um, investors to benefit from Charlie's potential demise. Demise? You're talking over my head. I'm taking the PSATs next Saturday. Demise means checking out, kicking the bucket. You're sick, deranged. The whole idea is just disgusting. Tell me more. First, I'm going to create a corporation called Casano Financial Products. Then, in return for investors paying $1,000, my corporation will promise to pay them $10,000 if Charlie quote, crosses over, unquote, in the next year. He's so out there I believe my offer will be irresistible. Isn't that life insurance? Yes, but it's insurance you cannot buy from an insurance company. Why not? None of us has what's called an insurable interest. A what? An insurable interest. We're not dependent on Charlie and would not suffer if he punches his ticket. You know, takes a dirt nap. We have no reason to purchase life insurance on a stranger, so we're not allowed to. Then how are you going to pull this off? On Wall Street, anything's possible. The first thing is to give this insurance a cool name, swap, that hides what it really is. The next is to convince everyone that this type of financial innovation must be allowed if our banks are to lead the world. Who are the fools who believe this nonsense? The House of Representatives, the Senate, the SEC. Really? The Federal Reserve, the Treasury Secretary. Shall I go on? That's quite all right. I figure if I can get 200 million Americans to take my offer, Casano Financial will receive a cool 200 billion dollars. That's like Mad Bill Squared. I've already checked out all the toys. The plan is to fly the Gulfstream jet to the feed ship yacht to the private island. I'll drop anchor offshore and jump on over in the chopper. I'm going to be the man. You're going to be broke. If you sell 200 million swaps and Charlie buys the farm while you are out on one of your weekend excursions, your company will owe out $2 trillion that you don't have. When has that ever stopped a banker from getting rich? If Charlie croaks, I will make the problem go away with one phone call. To whom? Your mother? Batman? Bill Gates? No, it's too big, even for Gates. I'll call the chairman of the Federal Reserve and tell him he's got a big problem. It's his problem? Absolutely. If he doesn't make good on the $2 trillion my company owes, the shock to the American economy will be so great there won't be a stock market come Monday morning. He's going to buy this. Absolutely. He'll agree to bail out Casano Financial with trillions. What will he demand in return? He'll notify me that the government is going to take control of Casano Financial. You're going to lose your company. What do I care? By that time, I will have extracted hundreds of millions of dollars. You are like some kind of diabolical genius. Just a good student. In the years leading up to the crisis, Joe Cassano made over $300 million for himself by selling swaps which later destroyed his employer, AIG. Did anything happen to him? No. There were no criminal charges. He walked away with the loot. The least I can do is name my company after him. You are so thoughtful. Why thank you. This concludes our Invis Teens cartoon. We hope you enjoyed it.